All right, so I got an update here on the power feed. I added a table jog. That's so cool. I had a question the other day, and that was, can a 12 volt automotive relay be used to switch a low load 120 volt household AC circuit? And the answer is yes. Didn't know that, I'd never even thought about it before. So. With that in mind, I'm taking advantage of that on this mill. So now, now yeah, we'll turn that up a bit. All right. So now, when the safety switch reaches, it turns the spindle off. Ain't that just cool? <laughs> I like that. Now I can probably add a switch in there to make that an option or not. Don't know if I will, but it can. Uh, and something else is cool. When I take when I take it back off of the safety, the spindle does not turn on by itself. That's a safety feature of the switch. If it loses power, power comes back on, the spindle don't just start back up. So I'm taking advantage of that and I think it's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Well, anyway, just wanted to show you that. Still got to do some uh, housing and wiring work to get all this nice and neat. So something else that was on my mind is that uh, I will be doing a wiring diagram when I get this thing done. And if necessary, if people are interested, you know, I'll go step by step through the wiring and the hows and the whys. And, uh, you know, for those interested. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. Let me know if you uh, would be interested in something like that. So what that's gonna do, when the safety switch, you're really a dumb you know that? You're supposed to have the spindle turning. <laughs> what an idiot. 